All right, we're recording. Uh, welcome to I'm Fine. It's Monday. Mondays, am I right? And mm -hmm. uh, we're here again. I'm Kelly McFarland. I'm Daniel Crone. And we have a guest with us today that we love so much, our very good friend, Josh Gondelman. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I would a pleasure to, to speak with you guys. Yeah, buddy. So That's nice anything, to see this you. This show is just for so me to see my friends. I don't care what happens. With yeah. yeah, this is perfect. We don't really care if anybody watches or, mm. like, comes in. We don't, don't you really feel, though, that, like, every Instagram live is just two people FaceTiming that really should have just been a private conversation? <laughs> yes. I, my one friend, I want to shout out one buddy who's been doing an amazing job, mm. uh, is my friend Julian Villard, who is a, a great singer songwriter but also he uh plays piano karaoke at this bar called sid gold's that's that's obviously not open right now so he's doing like 1 p.m nap time piano bar while his kids are asleep oh that's so cool yeah and then he'll he's doing it like late weekend nights after they go to bed too he's got like a three-year-old and, and an infant and um he's just been like and it's like very fun he'll have he has like guests on to like request songs and chat with him is and, that what you're doing on saturday nights when i talked to you that one time what was I doing? You were getting ready for karaoke. Oh yeah, that was just like a party for someone's <laughs> birthday. We have, there's a lot of karaoke in my life. I didn't anticipate it, but I'm not against it. <laughs> What's your song? What's your go-to song, Josh? Oh man, it kind of depends on the occasion. I'm I I love to do like a Thunder Road or a Born to Run. Mm. What I, about you? I would like in on that action. Um, I really like a Melissa Etheridge. Oh, that's a great call. Because I got a little bit of a rasp to my That's voice. Um, what about you, Dan? Do you do like any a little Tom, anything Tom Petty? Oh. Petty's great. It's um, great. It's great Mary song. Jane's Last Dance. That's my go-to. And he doesn't, his range is just kind of like right in the pocket, too. Yeah. Like, like he's not, you, right. he's not going to be one, like, don't stop believing, where at the end you're like, this is way harder now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, yeah. We were talking before we went live that, or live with us, that um, Josh, you're in New York, obviously, mm -hmm. and you're going to hang out the window and clap for the medical providers or no? I haven't done it yet. It does seem nice. We heard it in uh, my, we heard it from our apartment and I did like uh, late last week and my wife truly went to best case scenario and thought Trump had resigned. <laughs> <laughs> And then people are just celebrating in the street. Oh my God. We're gonna yeah. live. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. live. Yeah. Um, it's it, it, people singing um, Notorious B.I.G. I saw I that. I think that was a myth. I think uh, that was doctored, maybe. I was like, oh, New York, you're so cool. That would be cool. Have you seen? Cool. There's occasionally, the last couple of years, every once in a while, there has been like a, it just happened after Celine Dion played at Barclays, and there was, uh, just everybody on the subway platform at the Atlantic Terminal was singing a bunch of Celine Dion songs. It was like <laughs> a couple hundred people. Bring it together. Fun. Yeah. Cool. Which I wonder is like, how that I, sounded. <laughs> it, I, there's video of it. It's not too bad. I'll have to look it up. It would be infuriating to be anyone else on that subway platform, obviously. Yeah, a little It's bit. also, this is one thing that I didn't realize until I moved to New York from Boston is that like, Whenever you go, if you go to a Red Sox game, right, and you want to take the train away and you're going to get on the green line, it, you have to wait for like seven trains unless you leave in like the fourth inning. Mm -hmm. And in New York, when you leave a sporting event or a concert, there's just enough trains. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that there, any place had enough trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that green line is a real ball bust. Oh, the yeah. green line extension was, you know... Wasn't this supposed to happen like five years ago? And now with this, God only knows. Yeah. Our follow through in Boston is real crappy. You know that, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. It's all very like, it's all very like uh, the Affleck characters from Goodwill Hunting that just like have big dreams. Just big dreams and holding burgers for ransom. Yeah. What'd you say, Dan? The fact that we're even continuing the show this week is enough. It's huge. I know. Yeah. I know. You're going to get some kind of like New England Emmy. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Follow through. It's all about follow through. Um, Josh, are you quarantined? Are you self quarantining? I am. Quarantining? Yeah, my... quarantining? I'm quarantining. Quarantining sounds yeah. like it's a drink. Mm. We did that. I mean, so people, we saw people just tweeting that as a joke, like, oh, having quarantinis. <laughs> and we bought, it was like so 
impactful and our, my wife and I, our desire to drink at that moment was so strong that we like went to the liquor store. This is like a few weeks ago and bought like a big Tito's vodka and like vermouth, which you've never had in the house before. Yeah, yeah this is like eight times. Yeah, yeah just, drinking, just drinking martinis at home, which feels, yeah. that feels like something you do when you're like hours from death. Very yeah. decadent, yeah. Or yeah, in the 50s. It feels like Right? It feels like your last meal if you're like a fraudulent stock trader. He's <laughs> like, make me a martini in bed. I want to die. And nobody's asking me what would your, be your last meal anymore. I'm kind of glad about that. Yeah, yeah it just it could be any meal at this point. Yeah. Today, <laughs> tomorrow, at breakfast. I mean, if it's uh, based on the food in our house right now, it's probably a box of mac and cheese. So I don't feel good about it. I feel we, like um, but yeah, I've been, I've been here at, at our apartment with me and my wife and our fat little pug. And uh, we've been, I haven't gotten on the subway in like two and a half weeks, probably. Yeah. Good, I haven't don't. been like more than a mile from the house. Like we took like a walk out to the waterfront in Brooklyn like two weeks ago. And other than that, I've mostly just been like in the yeah. apartment. And I walk the dog at 3 a.m. because she, she's really old and gets up in the middle of the night. She looks like a baked potato. Oh, yeah. I love her so potato. much. I, when I see you post Thank pictures you. of her. Yeah. What is her name? Busy, B-I-Z-Z-Y. What right. a great distraction. Yeah. Um, she's a cutie. She's so cute. How old is she? She's like almost 13. Wow. Wow. Like 12 and three quarters, I guess, at this point. Yeah. And that's no idea what's going on. No idea. That's she just knows that we're home all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Every dog yeah. is like, this is great. Yeah, she's into it. We're always there. <laughs> But she's also been, I think because she's so chill all day, because we're just here and she just is very relaxed and sleepy when we're around. She just like wakes up at 3 a.m. and is like, well, I've, I've been resting all day, so yeah. I don't need this now. I also think the dogs wake up and look at the people and they're like, wait, you're still here right now? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Don't you, you get have fired? to do? Are you fired? Are you fired? Would you is get this... fired? We, um, I feel that way about my stepson because... <laughs> I forget he's here because during the day I'm typically here by myself, but like my, my husband's right. home working and I feel like I've been in this bedroom for weeks. Like Ooh. I hate my roommates, but that's, I mean, it's just because we all are doing our own thing. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Are you guys hanging out a lot or are you just kind of. We've both had a bunch of work stuff. So we fortunately have this like little office space um, and, and then the living room and we kind of like, a lot of the time we're together, just like both reading or working, and then we switch back and forth if we have to, if one of us has like a call or a meeting or something. Um, so it's been, it's, it, it has not felt, the, the being together all day has like not felt heavy so far. Yeah, you're able to work from home, which is fantastic. Yeah. We're, and that's right. And everybody who's watching, I don't even know who it's, but who will watch. Yeah. Very, funny writer Josh's for the show Jesus yeah. on Showtime. And a yeah. big episode tonight. We're back tonight. We were off for two weeks kind of figuring out how to launch the show remotely mm. but could, because the infrastructure wasn't quite there, you know, mm -hmm. when we had to leave the studio for um, like shelter from home protocol and whatnot at our shelter at home. And our post team, amazing. Our editors, our um, coordinators, uh, our, produ our, our producer, Julia Young, who's been like working with the editors. People have just been working so hard to get the show on the air tonight. And I'm so psyched for it yeah the guest is huge yeah dr fauci amazing the guy amazing. the man of the hour yeah the guy um, like this behind Trevor. yeah yeah oh my god he's, he's very <laughs> diplomatic they asked him i i mean i don't think this is tipping too much to ask uh, tip one question they asked him who because he's worked under six presidents and they said who's the best one that you've worked for and he <laughs> says i'm not gonna answer that <laughs> right because he doesn't want to be murdered Ooh, that, that's a little spoiler alert for tonight yeah, yeah a little spoiler oh, i'm honored i'm honored tonight. yeah <laughs> Um, um, I'm really psyched we're back and we've got John Legend on Thursday. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty dope. And I think I'm I'm really excited because I think the show will be other than not being able to do sketches or man on the street stuff, you know, there's like a couple things that are off the table for the time being, mm -hmm. but because it's the two hosts um that and they kind of are reacting to each other all the time and, and another producer. I think it'll feel really lively and, and very close to what it's like in the studio. Which I, oh, I really so are they excited. together or not? They're not, no. They're at their separate houses. Sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's an adventure, right? Everything now is an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 
it's like a real it's it's a stressful and you know kind of scary time in a lot of ways and yeah. I and I'm really thrilled that we were able to like adapt and keep making the show and like keep and just have everybody still working which is right. is amazing yeah um addition to be in definitely a lot of comics too are like are scrounging and but there's also a lot of flexibility if you put mm -hmm. a positive outlook on it and say like you know people who are thinking on their feet are changing what they can do without yeah. the, the the pressure of a maybe a nine to five which is like basically you show up here you leave here you do this job that's it and then people in sort of our line of work can be creative and try to figure yeah. out different things to do so that's cool yeah absolutely I, it's been really cool to see people like adapting and and like not just for their, you know, for their own sake in terms of like, we have so many friends who make the whole, whole their whole living touring and so many people like, um, and, and that's really scary. So it's great to see people like adapting and finding ways to make cool work that, that, that they can make money from. But just from like a point of view of like putting stuff out there that's bringing like kind of comfort and happiness to people. Yeah. It's been really cool to see. Too. Yeah, kind of like why we're doing this. Again, I said, like, I look forward just to like, talking with Kelly at five yeah. on Friday and we can have our friends on and we'll bring people into it. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm ex excited. Again, it's not for like, Oh, I hope somebody really picks up on Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going to replace uh, right. Jimmy Kimmel Live when yeah. we're all back to work. Uh, yeah, Conan is going on, is having his show tonight, I believe. I know, yeah. I'm excited I, about that. Yeah. shooting from home. Um, Trevor has been doing stuff from home. I, I think a lot of those. It all ends and everybody's like, I think I'll just do it from home. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope that doesn't uh, happen with live stand-up comedy. So I question, know. I, I've asked a couple people, Josh, and again, who cares if you don't know the answer? None of us really know the answer is what's going on. When do you think stand <laughs> live stand-up comedy will return? And I, it doesn't need to be a thoughtful answer. Just give me your impression of what you think. Oh, I bet. So, there's no right or wrong. Answer. I bet it'll come back slowly. Like, um, mm -hmm. I know a bunch of clubs in New York. Like, I think the seller was trying to do it, like, up until they couldn't in a way where like they would sell half the tickets mm -hmm. and which is very comfortable for me. That's what it's like when I'm on the road. <laughs> <laughs> not true. So, That's not so, even a little true. It was, uh, I think it will come back kind of slowly like that. Like I think there will, it, people will be a little tentative and, and my guess is like venues will show that they're still being a little more cautious than usual. And then it'll keep ramping up as like other things are safe. So I, I hope, I mean, I hope it's safe to have people in a room to do comedy like this summer. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I think it's um, a good summer could be a good trial period. Yeah. yeah. It's light anyway. <laughs> right. I know we're. This is like summer before the summer because yeah, that's there's right. not a lot of shows, and right. the only difference yep. is like now it's still cold outside, so it's not like you can like go anywhere or nope. I mean, we're not supposed to be going anywhere anyway no. social distancing. So, that's, so get used to people saying like hey we're gonna pay you my summer rates oh yeah I hate right that. or people you coming in and it's supposed to be half full and it's only a quarter full and they go right. hey we were half packed last week yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we can't have you back that you didn't almost sold out <laughs> yeah during the virus um yeah. you have a huge twitter presence have you ramped up at all or are you still giving your pep talks and doing all the lovely wonderful oh, things that you do at josh gondelman if you're i've been doing in. the pep talks i was like nervous about it at first because it almost felt like there was a period where like obviously the the sheer number of people getting sick is still yeah. really bad and troubling every day but i think there was there were there was a period where we were still kind of like learning how bad it was going to be day after day in a way that like every day felt like, oh, this new reality is like worse than I understood it to be. And it felt like a weird time to like, so, so the pep talks thing are late at night. Usually I'll just say like, if anyone needs a pep talk, I'm here for five minutes, let me know. And I'll just respond to people. And, and it's, it's, I, I like doing it. I think people, uh -huh. people seem to respond well to it, but I was worried that like things were too bleak where they'd yeah. be like, shut up little orphan Annie, what are you talking yeah. about? And so I um I d I waited until it felt like kind of people yeah. had acclimated a little bit to that this is what it is and then was like okay now we can start trying to like comfort each other because there is a period I think when bad things happen where you just have to be like I just need to absorb how bad it is right right yeah feel it oh uh, yeah definitely feel it kind of 
know that it's happening and then try to move on. Yeah. yeah. The first time I saw you do it though, after like the shit hit the fan, um, I did tweet at you and you, you're so darling. You like, obviously we're dialed in because you tweeted back at me. I was like, do you need a pep talk? Are you okay? <laughs> you're like the most positive person I know. And it's, um, yeah, I mean, we need, we need you more than ever. I oh, think to keep doing That's business as usual. You know what I mean? It's important. I appreciate yeah, people, that. Yeah, positive people, opt people with, opt you know, people who are optimistic about yeah. it, even though everything is crazy right now. Yeah. You know, I think it helps people. I've been trying and it's like, I'm in, I think probably the best possible situation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in, that you could be in in New York City and that like, we have my, I'm, I'm not alone. I'm with my wife who I'm like mm -hmm. very happy to see all day. Um, we have, uh, we're just like, you know, we have enough space. We can, we can afford to pay rent. Like it's not, um, the, I think people have it a lot harder. So I'm trying to like, not not be like oh I can't feel stressed or sad but to be like okay I need to um I have this like extra bandwidth that I'm not worrying about like survival mode stuff and I want to try to like give back in ways that I can and that's a little like you know I've been trying to donate money to stuff but like that first week it was like at a rate that was unsustainable I was like I just can't keep Get, people are going to keep needing that money and I was right. you know don't like anytime I'd see a GoFundMe I'd be like boop, 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 boop. and then I was like well I at some point I will not have money left I'm not something. a rich just grandma yeah. I'm not a rich <laughs> yeah just GoFundMe it just says it's twenty dollars and the comment is don't spend it all in one place yes. I have a new job what is it it's donating Josh's money to GoFundMe yeah I have a yeah. I've, I've kind of a little philanthropy thing going on uh, most of the money goes to the person who administrates my GoFundMe charity. Right. <laughs> How's your family? Do you need us to bring them anything? They're okay, okay. I we think. We have family, correct. Yeah, do you want yeah, us to do my, a drive-by, drop off some milk? I some think bread? they're okay. My parents are in a pretty good shape. They had a real saga um, getting... Uh, Get, get doing a pickup from the from Wegmans there was like a big it was a delay and they didn't get notified but they're retired and uh so they had time to sit in the Wegmans parking lot for a while <laughs> but I think they're I think they're okay they're well situated they're you know they're hanging out uh I wonder if my mom is gonna my mom's in this long-running book club and I wonder if they're gonna do it over zoom oh and that's I, so fun yeah they've done a book club for like 20 plus years together I love that. Have okay. they read your book? <laughs> Not together. They don't do nonfiction is the excuse they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> you and your wife, right? Both of you have books. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I feel like most people know you. Uh, however, if people see this and they don't know you, they, I mean, they should know you. You're a delight. Thank and you. And wonderful. I, I was listening that. to, um, I couldn't sleep the other night and I was listening to just my music on my phone or whatever and your album it switched and it was your album and it was um I never even say it right so I feel bad I feel like your great aunt right now being like you know the one about the song oh, with I the song it, yeah the what is it kiss me knock and K kiss me neck kiss, kiss me neck, me neck yeah. yeah I have great. that long story about tangentially about the Patriots and yes. my grandmother's funeral and um, <laughs> my and my wife it's, she's yeah. very my wife is very funny and it's mostly I mean it's it culminates with a story about her being very funny I also wrote jokes <laughs> I <lo> <laughs> I'm also a comedian. Yeah, yeah so I very funny. loved it. I listened to the whole thing and was yeah. like, oh, it's just it's so anything sweet. anything to keep you going right now, right? Yeah, anything that makes you feel happy. Right. That story is in the book too. That was like, I think there are two, maybe three stories that I tell in stand up that I like kind of put a little more mm. arc to and, and slowed them down a little bit so I could put them in that, my book. Uh, nice awesome. try, stories of best intentions and mixed results. <laughs> Available now wherever books are sold. Also, we, we I do have, like, think it is. That would like pop up or something. Hold on. I know. Well, uh, there we go. Oh, something oh. like this, maybe? Exciting. Something. Um, uh, we need to see the barcode, sir. The barcode. <laughs> yeah. Here's the ISBN. There you go. There you go. It's legit. Mm -hmm. And but amazing. you can. I also did the the audio book. So did which you is, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get that on Audible. That would be a joy. Or how about we read it right now? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, read it <laughs> right now. You have to go soon. But why don't you just read it? No. <laughs> Horrible. Josh, 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 will you come back on and see us? Yeah, anytime. 
Definitely. You're a huge, that would be amazing. You're a huge sneakerhead, Josh. How oh, yeah. have you been investigating the sneaker world in the pandemic? I have, I've been poking around a little bit. Okay. How long did it take for you to be like, because for me, I remember, I think it was like last week that I went on Nike and I was like, I think I'm feeling okay. Check it um, out again. Yeah, I, so, okay, so the first week, so like three weeks ago, I guess, when it was a little, when people were still kind of going places, but it just felt bad, <laughs> you know how it just feels bad, yeah, I, we worked from home on Tuesday, and I'd seen these New Balances, I, I bought this New Balance sweatshirt, which I don't, I don't have a lot of New Balance clothing, but I got this one sweatshirt, and it's from the Kawhi Leonard line, and it just says, uh, it's black, black hoodie, and in gold, it says fun guy. On the front. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I should get a pair of New Balance sneakers to wear with it. And oh, I, I love that. I yep. passed this place in my neighborhood. And so it was like, just as things were kind of ramping up into people staying at home and I bought them and then I like, I, uh, and I wore them at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I wore them at home. I had like Ooh, a maybe I should do that. I have some Vapor Max that haven't hit the street yet. Yeah. Ah! So I did that with those. And then I, I hadn't, I think that was the first pair that I bought all year. So it's been like two okay. and a half, been two and a half months. And I was like, I could, it was like 80 bucks. I was like, this isn't a, a wild expenditure. And then I saw these um, Air Maxes mm. that, you know how they say people go Valentine's Day. That's just a made up holiday to sell candy right. and flowers. So right. Nike invented Air Max Day, which is literally just yeah, to I sell Air Maxes. And they, I ordered a pair. I was like, you know, I really yeah, want you, these. You pulled the trigger. I'm still working, so it doesn't feel wildly irresponsible. Right. Um, but I'm not like I'm. I'm trying to not just be like. Hmm, I wonder if the market will be depressed if right. people aren't going out as much, so they don't buy as many shoes. Well, uh, so I right. just like collect another tower of sneakers. Because I looked at my sneakers the other day, or not the other, maybe a week or two ago, and I was like, these are useless. I know, but I, I have worn a couple pairs. I'm going to keep, so every show day yep. for Jesus and Marrow, I wear, I try to wear a different pair of shoes. Today's but, post was fantastic. Thank you. So today was just slippers. <laughs> but I'm going to go back to sneakers. I think I'm going to go back to sneakers. I, you know what? I, I only did the slippers because I was like, I should put on sneakers for the taping. And then I forgot and I was still wearing slippers. And I was like, well, this is funny anyway. It's totally funny. It is so funny. Gonna, it's totally on brand for yeah, what I'm going so to right I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go back to sneakers just to feel like, okay, I'm going to work. Um, why I shaved today. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the a, interview that was with a, Josh. Yep, yeah. <laughs> we did it. I had kind of a more of a beard going, and I, okay. but I didn't have the materials to maintain it, so yeah. I had to scale it back. It was right, and then all the shaving I'm doing, I'm like, what if I run out of razors, and then there's no more razors, and then I'm <laughs> Again, I'm That's very close to the Yeah, yeah, I was like, this could be my last time I ever shave. You could rock a beard, I think. No, no, it's bad. It's all thrown together. It's, it's no good. You mean it's like a quilt? It's like not. I was gonna use a joke, and then I realized it was that joke was done on The Simpsons, so I'm not telling the joke. <laughs> what did they? What was the joke from The Simpsons? Like it looks like it's like been pasted on by like pieces of like glue. Like I think you ever think like oh it's not. I'm sorry, it's not Simpsons at all. It's actually Beavis and Butthead. Ooh. Like, oh. They try to grow a beard, and they just take um, uh, barber shop. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And glue it to their <laughs> face. <laughs> That's so oh. funny. Well, Josh, we know you have to wrap up with us, but. Definitely. Tell everybody one more time about your book. So my book, Nice Try, Stories of Best Intentions and Mixed Results. It's out now. You can order order from your local independent bookstore. Get the ebook. Um, that's out. It's the same words. Um, or order the, uh, get the, get the audio book. You can download from Audible or wherever. And it's, it's my voice if you're not sick of it already. Any, uh, any non-things you want to plug? Any causes? Anything you want to, yeah. you know, your, your Oh, man. Stuff? That's a great question. Um, gosh, what was it? I've been, I've just been looking at, um, trying to donate to like service workers. I know a lot of comedy mm. club um, comedy clubs are are shut down for now, and and a lot of places have set up like GoFundmes and stuff for their employees. Yeah. And uh, Mike, Ber so here's my plug: Mike Birbiglia is doing these conversations also with, which is another great use of if um, your yeah. Instagram live called yeah tip your servers right tip your yeah, server wait staff tip your wait staff tip your, maybe tip your wait staff right. and um, what do we say, what do we say when we're up there? Yeah, what do we say. Uh, <laughs> I try to always say it too when I'm headlining. I say tip your servers. Don't forget to tip your servers. I think I or say wait your staff. wait staff. I think I say wait. I don't know. Tip yeah. everybody. 
<laughs> yeah, just tip out. Just fucking give people 20. Just, do, just make it rain out there. You're having a night. Make They're working hard. Night. Uh, um look yeah, up mike like, mike berbiglia is doing yeah. an awesome thing yeah and he's, so he's doing these conversations they joke writing conversations with other comics and they're yeah. really great and and every one they talk about a couple of comedy clubs where where you can be helpful so and, and i think like looking for people you know in the in the service industry is like it's a really hard time for a lot of people yeah. but the comics who also have that as their other job i know <laughs> right both are out Oof. brutal Thank you so uh, much for having me. Yeah, Josh, oh, good, thanks for coming you. on, Josh. My pleasure. Um, be safe and healthy. Thank you. You too. All right. And love we'll you guys. Talk to you soon. Later. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Oh, we'll be back tomorrow, by the way. Okay. I feel totally. like I should say that. We'll be back tomorrow. And um, tomorrow at Tuesday at 5. Tuesday so five. we're here Monday through Friday, right, Dan? Yeah, chime in. People We're in it together. Friends. But if not, I get to talk to Kelly every day. So that's, that's right. very enjoyable. What you don't know is Dan and I talk every day anyway. That's actually my bedroom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan is right here. No, uh, we'll talk to you all tomorrow. I don't know who our guest is. Tomorrow's Tuesday. We're going to have to figure it out. And, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of people this We're week. We're not like, pressured and like... Again, yeah. it's just fun, and we're happy anybody really cares at all. So We just want you to be fine, and if you can be fine with us, we'd love that, too. Oh, we didn't ask Josh what he's getting for dinner. Oh, shoot. What are you having for dinner? That's a great question. I'm going to do takeout from somewhere, and I'm excited about the, the possibilities. You are? Yeah. We got some pizza last night. What was that? It was okay. Okay, because I got pizza last week, and then I was regretted it for the full 24 hours after eating it. Yeah, it was okay. Um... And tonight, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe leftovers. We grilled a bunch of chicken, so. Oh, that's, that's, that's. Yeah. Um, this week, we do have some fun guests so coming on. We have a scientist coming on. We have a pair of brothers probably oh. coming on. We have, oh, Christine Hurley said she'd love to join oh, us. We nice. both love a Hurley. Um, so, yeah. So, well, come Jimmy, back and see us. So Jimmy, get your dumb brother out on this because... Uh, I told him I can't pay him. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, so we'll be back with oh, guests. Oh, right look who I just added in. Oh, Jimmy with his son. All right, we're including this, <laughs> bonus, co this is bonus content. This is bonus Wiley. content. I'm still recording, so. Wiley. Hello. What's up, buddy? Hi, Wiley. He's, show tunes. He's pretty focused in this, though. I've, I've got him. What's He's up? So He's so cute. He's, He's good with screen time. Can you wave? Does he wave? Show him your Bronx. Wave. Air high five. Wave to me, buddy. Give kisses. He doesn't do nothing. He's so He just watched his singing in the rain over and over and over again. You made him? This is something you made? Uh, this with person? science. <laughs> nice job. We were bored. All right, so if you can't get your brother, we'll just have Wiley. That's right. Do something, buddy. Yeah, come on, buddy. How about a hand? Clap your hands, He's right? our second uh, baby that we've had on. We had a baby on last Oh, Mike? yes. Yeah, Mike, Mike Katrovis' baby Gavin was on. Mm, I like Wiley better. <laughs> Ooh, I like both this, cute. I oh, he's thing. leaving. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Jimmy Goodman. We'll talk to you guys later. And we'll bye, see bye. you tomorrow at 5 for I'm Fine.